Hi, my name is Russell, and I'm a program manager on the Office Extensibility team. In this video, I'm going to show you how and where to acquire apps and add-ins which can extend the capabilities of Microsoft Office and improve your productivity. First, we'll be looking at some example add-ins in Excel, followed by Word and PowerPoint. Then, we'll take a look at some example mailbox add-ins, which work with Outlook. I'll show you how to browse through the full Office Store, which has tons of useful add-ins for you to check out. Finally, I'll show you where you can go on Office 365 to view, launch, and manage any websites or mobile apps you've signed into with your work or student ID and connected to your Office 365 data. Let's get started. First, we'll dive right into Excel. Clicking on the Insert tab, I see the new add-ins group. Here I can quickly access my add-ins for Excel, as well as try a few out and get more from the Office Store. As you can see, I already have a number of add-ins for Excel, which range from cool new charts to interactive maps and more. If you're new, you may not have any add-ins yet, but you'll see a link to the store where you can get them. Here's a great app developed by one of the program managers on our team. It's called Bubbles. This is a really fun chart that adds some excitement to your data. Next, let's try clicking on the Store button. As you can see, we feature a number of our favorite add-ins, which you can read about, and then simply click to start using. You can also browse the categories to see the variety of add-ins for Excel. As well, we have keyword search. This one looks cool. It's got some good ratings. OK, let's give it a try. Wow, that's neat. Make sure to sign up for a free Microsoft account and be signed into Office so that we can remember the add-ins you use and make them available to you across devices. This is also how you add payment information for add-ins that charge a fee. Finally, you'll notice a few add-ins featured directly in the ribbon. This is a great way for us to showcase the very best add-ins and get them into the hands of millions of Office users worldwide. Hmm, Bing Maps, cool. As you can see, this is a really new type of chart. It's fully interactive, and it looks great with my data. You can also find great add-ins for Word and PowerPoint. Let's check those out. So here I am preparing for my demo, but I need a little bit of help. I'm going to be traveling to Europe and giving a demo in French. How do you say demo in French? Let's ask the Microsoft Translator add-in. Ah, yes, demo. I forgot the e accent aigu. Well, simply I'll just click it and insert it, and it corrects my document. Next, I'm doing a bit of research on my favorite team, the Seahawks. So I'll try this pre-installed featured Wikipedia add-in. And already I've got some great information. I can even check out some images and look for my favorite player, Russell. Russell Wilson, that is. It inserts my picture as well as the source where I got it from. That's great. Finally, for PowerPoint, one of my favorite add-ins comes from our partner, Khan Academy. This is the Khan Content add-in for PowerPoint. You can insert your favorite videos and challenges from Khan Academy and put together your own coursework using PowerPoint. Great for students. Finally, I'll switch over to Outlook to show you new UI that will be coming early next year. When you click on the Store button here, which is on the Home tab, you'll see a great listing of all the different awesome add-ins that are available for Outlook, and you can turn them on and off with the click of a button. Well, that's great. I've shown you how to find add-ins from within the Office applications themselves. 
If you want to check out the full Office Store experience full screen, head over to store.office.com to browse our App Store. Or you can use your favorite search engine to look for the Office Store, and we should show up as one of the top listings. You'll find hundreds of popular apps. You can read through reviews and even rate apps after you've tried them. We can filter by product, Excel, Outlook, PowerPoint, find one we like, and check it out. Great! We just saw some example add-ins which are used inside of Office. Now, I'll show you how to manage web and mobile apps, which you can connect to Office 365. Let's get started. In addition to using add-ins within the Office applications themselves, you can connect your favorite websites and mobile apps to Office 365. Sign into these apps, grant them permission, and enhance their capabilities by sharing work calendar, document storage, contacts, and so on. This allows you to keep everything organized and in one place. Let's take a look. I open up Office 365. Clicking the waffle brings up the app launcher, where I can see all of the suite apps, as well as a few custom web apps that I've connected to Office. I can even unpin ones I'm not using, and let's try launching into DocuSign. Great, ready to work. Here I am signed in. To see more apps, you can click on View All My Apps and go to the store to check out more web apps you can connect to Office. Let's try the My Apps page. Here we are, looking through all of the apps we've connected. We can check out details or remove any. And finally, if you go to the Office 365 App Settings page, click on App Permissions, and you can see all of the apps again and remove any you don't want. We also have some important announcements about identity and authentication. We're happy to announce that Office 365 users can now use their work or school account to acquire add-ins from the Office Store. Also, for developers, the store now supports SAML authenticated apps. Well, that was a quick look at how you acquire apps and add-ins for Office 365. Thanks for watching.